Hi, everyone. My name is Casey Gollin, and I'm a senior engineering manager in IBM's product excellence office. Our mission is to equip teams across IBM software to build winning products with speed and at scale. So Bob's focus is on developers, but today I want to talk to you about how we're prototyping with Bob to transform entire product teams. If you work at a large enterprise, product development can be slow. And it's not because of the work, but it's everything in between. It's the waiting, it's the context switching, it's manually trying to synthesize information from across five different systems. There's just tons of manual coordination overhead. It's not surprising in this scenario that it can take months or quarters to deliver on a release. As we think about an AI-first product development lifecycle, the swim lanes start to fade away. You can think about AI automating the tedious parts, not the thinking. So it solves the blank canvas problem by generating your first draft and making it really fast to get revisions done. It can also coach teams across all of these artifacts to write better requirements, gather research faster. With these kinds of agents, we can bring a quarter's worth of work down to a sprint. It can actually connect to everywhere that we're working already. So it becomes the command center across all of these platforms. You can have a whole team operating in parallel as builders throughout the entire cycle. I believe that code agents aren't just for developers. Product teams, product managers, designers, and engineers can all become product builders end to end. So let's see it in action and speed run the PDLC with Bob. We're going to identify a customer need, validate it, prioritize it, spec it, design it, build it, ship it, measure it, and start the next iteration in less than 10 minutes. I had posted some internal demos using Bob, but they're full of our actual roadmaps and research because these are real integrations. So I've set up demo workspaces for a fictional company called Fredwin, where you can see this year the goal is to branch out from exercise bikes and infuse AI into everything that we're doing. Hey Bob, what are the top ideas in AHA? Let's prioritize them using the RICE framework and create a new doc in the opportunity folder. Bob is keeping track of tasks that it needs to accomplish. And we're getting lots of information. We're also getting a recommendation here to make the immediate focus this predictive maintenance MVP. I'm going to start a new conversation with Bob and just ask a question. Hey, Bob, let's do some competitive research on the idea about predictive bike maintenance. Now we're kicking off the web search. You can see that we're already getting some information streaming in here. Looks like IBM is a competitor here. It's finding market opportunities, geos, positioning. Bob also condenses its context so that it can run essentially indefinitely. It's as if we've read almost 50 web pages around these topics. Bob has finished the report. At any point, I could jump in, I could edit this report, I could ask for revisions, but let's keep going. I'm actually going to switch my mode in Bob to the Epic and Story Builder, which is customized to our product ops playbook. So it's going to use the exact template that we want to use across the organization and include all the right questions. Hey, Bob, let's draft an epic and user stories and let's align it with the strategy deck. You can see that it's already read the PDF. It's revisited the competitive research and we have some research in Airtable where our research team works. I don't need to go there and copy paste because Bob can just access that. So I'm going to ask Bob to pull relevant UX research. Bob actually went into the research repository and found some relevant studies. Hey, Bob, this looks good. Let's put this into GitHub as a couple of issues. Bob is going to plan how to break this out into different issues. This is a really fast start. So we've got a Kanban board in GitHub. Hey, Bob, let's get the GitHub issues into this project board. 
you can see here that it's going to create six user stories, eight tasks. I can see that these issues are streaming in here, complete with checklists and great formatting that makes them really easy to scan. All right, so let's prototype. I'm actually going to switch my Bob mode to one that's customized to work with our design system. It's got a docs server, so it can easily pull in best practices and code snippets. Use the CLI to read this issue and create a one-page rapid prototype. Looks like Bob got the issue. And you can see that Bob's aware that this is a carbon design system project. So first we're going to get a to-do list and we're going to start getting some pages taking shape. Bob is actually going to pull up a web browser here and load the page so we can see in line what was just built. And Bob is actually scrolling through it and visually inspecting the contents of this page. We could also flip into our browser and look at it. There's some tweaks that we could make here to the spacing, but that's a 10 second prototype. Bob is testing that the modal actually works. Can you fix the vertical spacing? Things look a little bit cramped. This is looking a lot better and you can imagine how quickly we can fix the rest of it. I think we're almost ready for some user feedback. Our customer engagement team works in a Monday board where they coordinate all the different touch points, but that's no problem. We can collaborate with them right from within Bob. Hey Bob, let's get a private preview scheduled in Monday for the predictive maintenance prototype. So Bob is fetching the information that's needed to understand the board. And then you'll see, here's our new schedule. The last thing I want to make sure we do is keep everyone in sync. Hey Bob, can you look at the related Monday idea, GitHub issue, and aha item, and make sure that they're all in sync? and have links to each other. We can actually see this comment came through with the link to Monday and GitHub. Now we've had this prototype out for a week and we've got some analytics data from Amplitude. Hey Bob, can you analyze the Amplitude data and identify any trends related to the prototype? Bob looked at the numbers and it looks like we were actually able to get this in front of tens of thousands of people Based on our predictive maintenance prototype, what conclusions can we draw from this data? We have strong retention, which is a good sign. So we can dig in further, but this is a quick example of how you could pull in real usage data and do some quick analysis. These kinds of technologies are not just powerful for software developers, but anyone on a product team who can act as a product builder across the entire product development life cycle, from synthesizing a market point of view to creating a really rigorous spec, prototyping, getting it tested, and analyzing the data. Bob is not just going to change the game for our developers, but it's going to change the game for our product teams at large.